This Boxing Day today in the UK and some dads get socks for Christmas. I got this. Hi everyone, it's been a little bit of a while since I've put a video out for one reason or another. I just uh, haven't had the time, so uh, hoping to get back on it now. I've got a lot of things coming up for the car in 2017. I've got front strut braces I put on, hopefully picking up some size skirts in January. Uh, maintenance stuff has got to be done. Footwell lights, bits and pieces coming up. But today uh, I want to talk about this got this for Christmas uh, yesterday so yep happy Christmas to everybody and so my uh, eldest son who's also a bit of a car nut asked me what uh, I might like and I said well I would like if possible a bit of an upgrade to my Chinese special OBD2 reader uh, which does the job don't get me wrong but what I want to be able to do is um, one of the projects I want to do for 2017 is to put uh, the Navipod in the dash with a seven inch screen and I want that permanently uh, running gauges instead of fitting physical gauges in. One, because it looks a bit more high tech and I do like a good gadget, but also I prefer to do that rather than run pressure lines and power and everything else to gauges sit on the dash. And plus also I can use it for navigation. Still have got the uh, Android unit in there, that's done very well. Uh, that's a year old now and I'm going to be doing a one year later video on that uh, soon. So, problems with this. As I say, it does the job, reads codes, uh, Talk Pro, which is what I use, connects to it fine. Uh, however, what I do find is that trying to connect to this consistently uh, can be a real pain. Uh, sometimes it will take up to 20 minutes to connect it. Or what will happen is um, the I have to actually delete it out of either the tablet or the head unit or whatever it is I'm using to connect to this entirely out and then re-scan to find the device and connect it that way. If you plug this in before you turn the ignition on, the ABS goes crazy. It hates it. So you have to make sure you put it in. Uh, after you've turned the ignition on or started the engine and uh, you can't leave it on because it constantly draws power and it's probably not an awful lot of power but if I don't use the car for a period of time uh, I don't want the battery going flat uh, I just want to be able to get in and drive it and not flat my battery because of that so uh, thank you Tom uh, he bought me uh, this for uh, one of my Christmas gifts got a three year warranty uh, I'm not going to go through all the um, you know bits and bobs and everything that it comes with. There's lots of uh, YouTube videos online already that does that sort of thing. But the main three things I was interested in for this is I can keep it permanently plugged in because it has a power down feature if it's not been used for something like 600 seconds or, or whatever. Uh, it goes into a battery save mode so it uses virtually no power should connect properly because it's not a sort of clone Chinese device it's uh, you know properly programmed uh, Elm chip and so I'll leave it plugged in uh, oh yes and I don't obviously get the um, uh, you know the ABS light doesn't start going mad and have to unplug and plug it in because I just want to get in the car start it up talk pro comes up or once I get the nerve pod in that, that you know comes up on the screen uh, and it just works I just I just want it to work so um, I have already um, paired the device. The other thing with it is it does have um, security uh, built into it because you have to, uh, you know, you press this button on the back here and it gives you two minutes to pair the device with uh, your tablet or your phone or if you've got an Android head unit, uh, that. Um, so you can't, you know, people can't come along with their phone or whatever and just hijack your OBD, OBD2 socket and... I don't know, do whatever these people do. Uh, so it does have a security aspect to it as well, which is very good. 
So uh, let's uh, plug it in and uh, see how we get on. Okay, so this is the unit here and uh, it's in power down mode at the moment. So it's drawing next to no power and uh, you've got the power LEDs flashing. Uh, when the power's constant, it, um, it uh, is a constant um, steady green and we have the blue uh, LED flashing. So let's just... Uh, First test is, does the ABS or any other light start going a bit crazy when we uh, start up? So let's see. Okay. So that's all good. No issues there. And the device has powered itself up and it's now waiting for a Bluetooth signal. So let's just boot up the head unit. So, uh, a bit distorted there, but it's pretty much the best I think we're going to be able to do. So let's start talk and we'll see, actually before we start talk, the unit does come with its own uh, program, uh, which is available in Play Store, there it is, so, you know, this one, uh, because it obviously is made by the people who produce the OBD Link LX, uh, does connect really quickly. Okay, so let's hit connect. Okay, it's connected in. And there we go, it's connected as quick as that. And it does actually come with quite a nice um, dashboard uh, system. And you can customise this the same as you can with um, uh, Talk Pro. So it has all these um, all these gauges, which are quite good. It's quite a nice, simple interface. So that's that one. So let's just come out of that. We'll disconnect that. Remind me later. Thank you very much. And then we'll come out of that. Okay. So let's go to Talk Pro. And this is my one I normally use, and it's connected to the adapter, and it's checking with the car. Connected to OBD. Okay, there we go. It's connected in. It's as quick as that. So, on the whole, to say the devices, I think it retails. It's on Amazon for I think about fifty pounds, fifty-two pounds, something like that. Me personally, it's worth the money. Connects first time every time. I don't need to disconnect it. Uh, it does what it says on the tin. It run my gauges fine. It powers itself down. Other people can't connect to it because it has to be uh, paired. Uh, and you can't just sort of stand by the car and pair it to a device. You have to press the little button that's in there. So uh, I think it's very good uh, for the things I want it to do. If I'm being perfectly honest, if you just want a uh, OBD2, that's to be quite honest, if you just want an OBD2 uh, fault code reader, then to be honest, I'd pay three pound for a Chinese one. Uh, I'd pay the three or four pound for Talk Pro, seven pound, and it does the job fine. Um, but there we go. So OBD Link LX, uh, I like it and um, that's about it really so thanks for watching and hopefully more videos coming very soon thanks for now and don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot bye